Hey guys, I'm behind the wheel of the new A-Class, Mercedes-Benz A-Class that just launched in Singapore last week. Uh, you read the news story on carbuyer.com.sg, but this is the first time we actually have some uh, time without people going in and out of the car constantly because this car is getting a lot of attention in Singapore and this is the reason why. So the new A-Class, uh, totally new, um, totally new interior as you can see. It is really taken uh, more than a step forward, probably two steps forward actually. You can see all the new accoutrements of the cabin. Um, what you will notice is a lot of things from more expensive Mercedes models, such as these vents from the E-Class Coupe. The dual um, HD screens, they're not the same screens, actually. They, I think they might even be a little clearer and sharper. But they are 10.25 inch uh, units. And the S-Class has that, the E-Class has that as well. This steering wheel with the two touch pads and the silver chrome, it looks just like it just came out from an S-Class. So the A-Class, the small hatch has really taken, you know, a big, big step in terms of refinement, build quality and features. So the dual screens right here, you have your infotainment display, uh, instrument display. This is one and the infotainment display here. And this is what uh, Mercedes calls MBUX, it's its new infotainment system. So you have four ways of controlling it. Uh, this, this is one while you're driving, you can scroll, scrolling, scrolling. Scroll back. Scroll. You have your touchpad down here. Scroll is a haptic touchpad. Feels quite nice. Back. Home. And also the screen itself is touch. La la la. So one thing about um, the car is that voice control is um, integrated into the car. So you say something like, Hey Mercedes. Yes, please. Find me a Japanese restaurant. Please select an entry. There we go. So you can do all kinds of things. You can, you can um, look for parking. You can, uh, you know, look for a petrol station. And another thing about MBUX is how much it takes from modern smartphones. And you, you see this in the touch control. You can also customize it. So customize it. And another cool thing is profiles. So profiles. This guy called Abel. I don't know who he is. I, I want to be Shane today. So you can actually um, customize a lot of things, you know. I'm going to edit the profile. Anything from your navigation to your uh, temperature, your radio stations. You can, you can customize anything and change it on the fly. And there's another thing here called themes. So you can set, say, a driving mode, uh, what screen you want the infotainment to show, the places you want to go, a lot of things like that. So really, there are a lot of... Um, deep customization features here just like a smartphone so brightness here so. and we can be here for a long long time fiddling around with all the things but this in a nutshell is the interior of the new a-class i'm gonna do a review on carbuyer.com.sg eventually so stay tuned for that